Splatling time, baby! Splatlings are perhaps one of the more complicated weapons in Splatoon to get used to playing with, what with its varying charge times and high firing rates. These aspects make Splatlings somewhat similar to Chargers, but what makes these gauntlets shine is their diverse way of providing coverage both offensively and defensively. Splatlings end up being a solid backliner that can mow enemies down while also painting some turf for your team, opening up new strategies of playing that can't be achieved with other backliners like Chargers or Squelchers. Yo, what up? It's Volpixie here, and today I'm here to talk about Splatlings. Specifically the heavy ones, because someone already took the hydras from you. <laughs> Nevertheless, heavy Splatlings are a great weapon. They provide a perfect middle ground for the different types of Splatlings offered in Splatoon, and are a great introduction to see if this kind of weapon suits your playstyle. As a resident Splatling lover, I'm here to offer you some tips and tricks to ensure you play this weapon well, and help bring you and your teammates some sick nasty dubs. Tip number one! Positioning is key. A heavy Splatling can be considered a mid to backliner, so you need to know where you belong on the battlefield. Oftentimes, a heavy Splatling will provide support to their teammates from a distance, covering turf and mowing down enemies from afar, while also serving as a beacon for frontliners to jump to should they get splatted themselves. Make sure you aren't out in the open. And try not to expose yourself when charging your shots. Speaking from experience, it's hard to charge up your shot when someone is charging right for you. So be careful if you choose to play aggressively. And speaking of charge... Tip number two! Learn your Splatling's charge time. It is imperative that you learn how much time it takes to not only charge your Splatling up, but also how long you have to rain down bullets on your opponent. Heavy Splatlings are a fairly even mix of charge time and firing rate, which allows you to ink faster and longer than a regular charger would. The charge time may leave you exposed, but if you learn positioning well, you can be a menace to your enemies by showering a torrent of bullets on them. And you don't need to aim perfectly to get a killer assist. Hitting opponents once or twice allows for teammates to easily finish the job. And you become more of an important asset to your team by offering that kind of assistance. And that's it. Hopefully these tips and tricks were helpful to you and you utilize them to your gameplay. Be sure to check out my Twitch where I live stream four times a week as well as my TikTok and YouTube for more cool content. Leave a follow or sub if you'd like to see more of my stuff. Thanks for watching.